Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 4 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. Let's turn the corner here. Be a little faster going this way. I'm curious yeah, to see if we should get that done. <laughs> it's beautiful. God. This is I feel like there is a lot of boat traffic going through here right now. Oh yeah. Dude, I think there's weeds out here. Oh got one. Oh man, big fish, Mike! Big fish, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't even seen it yet. Could it be another tiger? Oh, boy. Here, Mike, I'm bringing her this way. Gonna... Real good. Yes! Oh! Awesome. Great job in the net. That was awesome. Dude, I'm like, I think I'm feeling weeds, man. I think I'm feeling weeds. Hang on, my lure's still out here. Do your thing, I got this. You gotta be kidding me, Richardson! <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys, wow! Our second muskie in 30 minutes, baby. Tanks! I don't know what's going on right now, guys. We're pre-moon set and the bite is on. Great flame. Getting the job done, baby. Monster fish. We'll get her back and Mike and I will fill you in on all the details. All right, guys, what is up fishing with the legend? Mike Richardson, dude, we are heating up, man. Oh my God, I mean, guys, this bait, if you don't have one of these, and you know, just any color will do. I'm not gonna tell you to go out and buy a grape flame, although if you don't have one right now, this, this season, the 2020 season, as weird of a year as this has been, like as far as you're talking about uh, unpredictable year with all this stuff going on, I'll tell you one thing you can count on this year that has been predictable, and it's this, the 500 Booker Tail and Grape Flame. But that's not, you know, the, the, the learning part of this segment that Mike and I want to talk to you about. This fish is all about angle change on reef. And if you've watched our channel for any amount of time, you know that we talk about angle change quite a bit. Mike and I are fishing this, this big reef in the middle of a lake system, and we, we're fishing, we're casting, we're working the boat into the wind, and we're casting perpendicular to the reef. And you know, we, we haven't caught anything. And then all of a sudden we change directions and cast, you know, actually like parallel to the length of the reef, pop, got a fish. And the weird thing, Mike, right? And we can all relate to this is you, 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 you we knew we casted over that fish already from, you know, whatever angle I'm retrieving this blade, yet the fish didn't eat it on that angle. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. We could sit here and talk about this all night. Why didn't that muskie eat it when it was running parallel, when it was running perpendicular? Yet I threw it with the wind, with the grain of the wind, and she ate it. And 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 that was really interesting. Is that because that muskie's positioned there with its nose into the wind current? Possibly. You know, the moral of the story here, guys, when you're fishing reefs, is you have to work all sides of the reef. Even when you know that you've casted over the side of the reef. So you're like, you could say, you could very easily go fish a small reef and say, yeah, you know, I already, I already casted my, my, my lure, it landed on the other side, clean over. We don't need to go back and fish it. Maybe not. This fish would have been one that we wouldn't have caught if we had said, yeah, we, we fished the reef, let's get out of here. We would have missed this muskie. So you really have to be diligent, guys, when you're reef fishing to force yourself to fish the whole thing. And again, once you start catching fish like this, 
you won't have to be uh, forcing yourself to do it. You're going to be doing it out of necessity. Um, and then again, we say this all the time, you got to have a good guy in the net. Oh my God, did Rich, you netted this fish on like the very last like chance probably. I mean, you guys saw it. The hook came out as the muskie went into the net. I mean, there's two things going on there. You have communication with your net guy and keeping a tight line. You got, I mean, on, on that fish just wasn't hooked real well with bony mouth. Uh, 80 pound test JBOB sprayed, Legend Elite St. Croix 90 MHF. Uh, it's medium heavy fast. Yeah. So guys, as always, we're gonna keep going here. It looks like things are improving. Uh, so Mike and I are gonna keep at it. But as always, we can't thank you guys enough. All the subscribers out there, these guys rock. And gals, these guys, these guys and gals are musky mastery folks. They're just amazing. Great people, we can't thank you guys enough. Thanks to our sponsors, JBO, St. Croix. They keep us outfitted with the best equipment in the world. That's why we catch these fish. And guys, we hope you enjoyed this segment. As always, thanks for watching. You're watching Season 4, Musky Mastery Outdoors. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting and educational musky and multi-species action.